our um, postgraduate uh, courses. Um, the first thing to say is that we run these courses um, in lifestyle medicine, obesity care, with the University of Central Lancashire in England, and uh, that's quite a long name, so we uh, abbreviate it to UCLan. And um, uh, the course is a, a modular course, as you can see here, going left left to right. It's a sequential modular course. Um, with six 20 credit modules um, and a research dissertation. Uh, the research dissertation is worth 60 uh, credits. So it's a total of 180 credits gains you the full master's degree. Um, however, you don't have to do the complete, uh, the complete MSc, um, depending on how many modules you you, you, you finish, you can be awarded either a postgraduate certificate for three modules, a postgraduate diploma for six modules, or the MSc for the full course. Um, I'd like to uh, talk about the first three modules that make up the, the postgraduate certificate, um, because these modules between them cover all the major aspects of uh, obesity care and therefore this is uh, like a mini course in its own right uh, and if you choose to study these three you'll be uh, awarded a postgraduate certificate um, in lifestyle medicine and obesity care and i'd just like to uh, describe a little bit uh, of the content of these three modules so that you can get a, a flavor flavor of what we cover um, and, and how the content is, is structured. So the uh, first module is uh, obesity causes and consequences. And this module looks at the wide ranging factors that can contribute to obesity from just <clears throat> genetics and disrupted circadian rhythms to food processing and environmental and social factors. And then there's the consequences of obesity, which of course includes the metabolic and physical health comorbidities such as diabetes, hypertension and, and arthritis, um, but also the psychological sequelae of, of obesity such as depression, anxiety, um, body image dis dissatisfaction and, and all the problems that that can, can contribute to, to patients with obesity as well. In the, the second module, Obesity, the Solutions, we look at the current approaches to obesity prevention and treatment, including lifestyle interventions, behavioral therapies, drug therapy, and bariatric surgery. But you'll notice there's a question mark um, after solutions in, in the title of the module. And that's because the proposed solutions are, are clearly not working as, as obesity continues to, to rise around the world. Um, so we also consider why this might be looking at the barriers to effective obesity treatment. And uh, this brings us to the third module, which is entitled Obesity Towards a Precision Approach. So this is about um, making obesity treatment more personalized and understanding the individual challenges to weight management and considering, considering the role of, of a multi disciplinary approach and the latest developments in obesity research and treatments. Um, so bringing you right up to date uh, with what's going on in the field. If you then want to continue your studies, the next three modules offer um, specific uh, um, look in depth at specific aspects of obesity care. So there's nutritional approaches to obesity, which looks at all the different types of diets um, and dietary approaches to, to weight management. Um, and there's a module on pediatric obesity. Obviously, childhood obesity is, is, um, is kind of following adult uh, obesity in its tra tra trajectory. And uh, if we can tackle childhood obesity, then that obviously um, bodes well for, for future obesity rates. And finally, obesity and reproductive health, because uh, research is showing more and more that what happens um, during pregnancy and even preconceptually and in the first few, few months of life is absolutely critical when it comes to kind of programming the, um, the metabolism and, and impacting on 
on an individual's risk of uh, obesity and other metabolic diseases in later life. Okay, so if you complete those three modules as well um, and then finish, then you'll be uh, awarded a postgraduate diploma. Um, but there's also the option to go on. And the research dissertation is uh, done in conduct conjunction with UCLan. So CCH, um, we deliver the first six modules of all of the process graduate certificate and diploma modules, and the final research and dissertation components are conducted by the medical school at the University of Central Lancashire. Okay, so that's moving on to the next slide. I'd just like to talk a little bit about the impact of, of training with CCH, um, what you get from completing these courses. Um, well, you will learn a lot about obesity and this will hopefully enable you to change your practice for the benefit of your patients. Um, we have had many students in the past tell us that they changed their approach to dealing with patients with obesity and started implementing what they'd learned within a couple of weeks of starting the first module of the course. Such was the impact of, of what they were learning. And a, a survey of patients treated by CCH trained healthcare professionals provided very positive feedback, as you can see on, on the slide. They felt listened to with greater understanding and compassion. They felt confident their health worker could understand the causes of their weight gain and trusted their ability to develop an appropriate program to address their obesity. So benefits of the, benefits of the course are passed directly on onto your, your patients. And that, that's the aim. Um, a little bit more about the, the practicalities of um, the course and the time frame. So um, how long does the course take? The course is part time because um, it's uh, designed for busy health practitioners. So the full MSc would usually take three years. Um, basically, there are, are three terms or study periods from September to December, January to April and May to August. And typically you would study one module per study period. So the three modules of the postgraduate certificate would take one year. Then if you continue to the dip, it would take two years and, and the full master's three years. However, um, we are, we are flexible and we understand that when people have, are working, have busy lives as well as studying, that uh, things uh, crop up and you can't necessarily study throughout the, the 12 months of the year. So um, you can take longer to complete the course. And um, it's a, a pretty standard um, policy uh, in, in British universities that you have a maximum of six years to complete a degree course. Okay, and so who's eligible and what are the entry requirements? Um, well, as I said, the course is designed for health professionals. So a relevant degree in an appropriate medical or health subject or biomedical science is required. And also a high level of English, particularly written English. Um, these modules are all at master's level, so assessments involve writing quite often, not always, but a lot of assessments involve uh, writing academic essays of, of two to three thousand words. So you need to be able to write well in, in a scientific style with appropriate, appropriate uh, referencing of sources. So we ask for an IELTS score of seven or or equivalent for people whose first language is in English. Uh, and again, this is, this is pretty standard for uh, universities in the UK.